Okay, so hi everyone. Welcome to the Cat Kings and Math series. Today I have with me Naman here, and he comes with a great background. I mean, I will be intrigued to know that he has his own QSR setup in Delhi. You know, he's an engineer, and more than me, I think he is going to talk to you guys about his entire life journey. And the good thing is, he's got through NMIMS. So congratulations on that. Thank you so much, ma'am. Lovely. So tell me, you know, this whole uh, exciting journey of yours before getting into this whole MBA prep. What have you been doing since your engineering? Uh, so I worked in two startups to, you know, basically test my knowledge that if I could uh, probably pursue my business, my interest in the QSR chain or not. So when I got promoted in the startups, also at a very early stage. So that is when I said that I'm confident enough, and now I can pursue my QSR venture. So I started it back in January 2018, and uh, probably it kicked off very well. And I've been doing that for the past three years. So I have expanded it from a eight by eight outlet to about four chains now. So yeah, wow, doing very well. So what does your QSR chains offer? What all things do you offer? Uh, except for South Indian, we offer basically everything, plus a very good space for office people also. So that's a very different culture because I have been into the corporate culture. So I know they've got meetings to do and parties to have. So we give them proper private spaces as well. Oh, that's lovely! Yeah. So you already have this really good business of yours, which is doing well. What made you choose? You know, I want to do an MBA now. Uh, ma'am, there were certain instances during this journey. when i used to stop and i used to think ki agar maine mba kari hoti to how would i have handled this situation and this question arises a lot of times so i have had the on ground experiences but i really want to know the you know the grand strategies that are involved basically in doing the business i know the tactics but yes doing the grand strategies i can basically uh, shape my graph to a j shaped graph so i can basically expand five times to an mba So wow. that is why I said one two years of uh, experience would help. Lovely, that's interesting. And how? When did you decide that you want to start preparing for these entrance exams? How many months before? Yeah. So July nineteenth, I had my birthday. So there was a friend of mine who is an NMIMS only. So she briefed me about the college, about the college culture. Okay. So that is when I said that one uh, shot can be done with this thing. So that is when I started preparing. July twentieth, I started. I got that in in Matt OG and certain other books. So yes, I started preparing from then on, and uh, it was a four month a uh, journey. But yes, I used to study basically almost twenty hours a day. Wow! Not less than so that. Amazing! Yeah. So amazing! So you know. be so passionate about something working studying along with your entire own business which is them so how was your interview experience at nmms i mean did they grill you on this fact or did they really enjoy that you come from a different background uh, so ma'am i had a very good nmat score so basically uh, probably they did not grill me much but yes they were very interested in knowing basically why i wanted to do an mba so uh, they they tried to buy me out They said, "Take an investment of one CR from us and pursue your business. Why do an MBA?" Wow! So that is where that is where they were trying to trick me. But yes, as we as Rahul said, so Rahul sir also says, and you also say that you don't have to move from your point. You have to stick by your point and back it up very well. So yeah, that was the main thing I kept on doing in the interview. Lovely. So what was your NMAT score? Uh, I was two sixty, ma'am. It was two sixty. 85 88 85 86 88 86 lovely that's really nice so you have a good balance score across all the sections as well also and you know like by mba they asked you i'm pretty sure and you know this whole investment uh, offer which is there apart from this what were the kind of questions you were asked like were they on your yeah. sp yeah so the first question was uh, from my engineering from my academic background but i wasn't uh, you know into touch in, i wasn't in touch with studies much so okay. yes i i agreed and i quickly surrendered and i apologized for the same so that they do not come back to me with an argument and they do not get offended by it so i i i humbly said that i am not into touch with studies but i will look into the same so 
first question was about academics. Then they moved on to the business. There was a question where they said that, uh, tell us one instance that you foresighted, that you foresaw, and how did you manage it? So okay. these were some questions. And everything was around this. So nothing, no question was a, 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 you know, excluded and was not a part of this. Okay, that's lovely. So people who are listening to us, just make sure that, you know, when you sit for your NMRMS interviews, you keep the SAP really strong. You know, that is something which is going to be very, very helpful for you, for sure. Okay. And uh, what kind of pe people were there taking your interview? Like, were they all faculties? Yeah, they were all faculties. Uh, there were two female faculties and uh, one male. Male faculty was around 40 or 50 years of age. But okay. The rest two were young faculties. But all were very enjoyable. And when I uh, talked to other people, also they also said that uh, NMIMS panel did not grill anybody as such. Mm -hmm. They were really interested in knowing us. Absolutely. That's a really good thing. You know, when you sit out there to select the students, it kind of becomes really interesting. And, you know, it's more enjoying experience altogether as well. Definitely. Lovely. So what was your strategy for your preparation? I'm sure you would have got like somewhere around a week or 10 days to prepare from the final, you know, interview dates being listed out and shortlisted. So how did you go about uh, your entire preparation? Ma'am, I, all I had was that panel that, uh, that Cat King gave me. So I probably went through every bit of it. So that is probably a mini, mini MBA that you people say so. So yeah, that really helped me to, you know, have an overview of the concepts because I have been working on ground and I don't have as such textual knowledge about any basic terms. That's so correct. yes, that basically helped me, uh, you know, get to that level where I could sit in an interview confidently. And, and apart from that, your sessions, weekly sessions were amazing and perfect I'm guidance was there. I'm glad that the sessions weekly were helping you to get on board and get on track with it. What kind of advice would you like to give all the people who are, you know, aspiring to get into NMIMS with respect to their NMAT and the interview preparation? Uh, NMAT, I would basically say, uh, study with the level, keeping the level of the exam in mind. Uh, and quick, a quick mind should be there. The fast approach should be there to the questions. A question can be solved in basically 10 ways, but you need to know the right approach to it. The first, the first approach that should be in your mind. And uh, in MAT, I don't think requires much effort or much tensions as such. But yes, a quick exam, you need to have a quick grasp of concepts and formulas. And apart from that, interviews are really very chill. They, I haven't heard anyone, you know, being asked GK questions as such. You will have, you, if you know yourself personally very well, you will get through this interview clearly oh. and start writing your SOPs very early, very early because they require, they are required five, six, three with us. I think that's the most important piece of advice that have good amount of time for your SOP. I would suggest once you have your scores in hand, don't wait for the interview dates, just start prepping your SOP before itself. Do you think that will be really helpful? Definitely, ma'am. Definitely. One month into the SOP, your SOP can be so good, so very well prepared that, uh, you know, you'll get through any, any interview. And that SOP works everywhere. It's not just NMIMS. It can work anywhere. So, yeah, that is a must for Okay, anyone. that's lovely. Thank you so much, Naman, for sharing your interview experience and the whole journey with us. And wish you all the best for the next two years. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Oh, my God.